picture this. You're online, clicking away, eager to see that adorable puppy video your friend sent. You click the link, anticipation building, and bam, a message pops up, cold and unforgiving. No content file found. What? Where'd it go? Did the internet gremlins steal it? Don't panic, we've all been there. This mysterious message can be a real head-scratcher. One minute your file is there, the next it's vanished like a magician's rabbit. But fear not, digital detectives. We're about to unravel the mystery of the missing content file. So, what's actually going on when you see that dreaded message? You know, the one that makes you want to pull your hair out in frustration. It can be incredibly annoying, especially when you're in the middle of something important. Imagine the internet as a giant library. This library is vast, almost infinite, with countless rows of bookshelves stretching as far as the eye can see. Each shelf is meticulously organised, holding a treasure trove of information. Every website, picture and video has its own special address, like a library card catalogue. These addresses are unique, ensuring that each piece of information can be found quickly and efficiently. Think of it as a precise map that guides you to exactly what you're looking for. When you click a link, you're basically asking the librarian, your computer, to find the book, the file, at that address. The librarian knows exactly where to go, thanks to the detailed catalogue. It's a seamless process most of the time. Sometimes the librarian gets confused. This can happen for a variety of reasons. Maybe the catalogue isn't up to date, or perhaps there's been a mix-up in the system. Maybe the address is wrong. A typo in the link, perhaps. Even a small mistake can lead to big problems. It's like giving the librarian the wrong call number and expecting them to find the right book. Or maybe the book has been moved to a different shelf the files been renamed or moved to another folder. This can happen when websites update their content or reorganise their structure. The librarian might be looking in the right place, but the book is no longer there. Either way, the result is the same. A no content file found message. It's like hitting a dead end in your search. But don't worry, there are ways to troubleshoot and find what you're looking for. Sometimes, a little patience and persistence can go a long way. Let's be honest, seeing that error message can be super frustrating. You just want to see that cute puppy video and now you're stuck staring at a blank screen. It's like ordering a pizza and opening the box to find... nothing. Take a deep breath. We've all been there. Remember, Technology can be fickle. It's not you, it's... Well, it's probably still the computer, but don't take it personally. Time to put on our detective hats. The first step in solving any mystery is gathering clues. Start by checking the link itself. Is it spelled correctly? Even a tiny typo can throw things off. If the link looks good, Try copying and pasting it into a new browser window or tab. Sometimes a fresh start is all you need. If that doesn't work, try going back to the website where you found the link and looking for the file there. Maybe they've reorganised their website and the file has a new home. Section 5 Wrong turn Redirecting to the right path in this section, we will explore how to navigate through the digital maze when things seem to go awry. Sometimes, the problem isn't that the file is missing, but that it's moved. This can happen for a variety of reasons, such as updates or reorganizations. Websites change their layouts all the time, and links can break. This is especially common after a major redesign or update. When a website undergoes such changes, 
the structure of the site can be altered significantly, leading to broken links and missing pages. It's like trying to find your friend's house after they've moved without getting the new address. Imagine the frustration of arriving at the old location only to find an empty lot or a new tenant. The same thing happens online when URLs change. If you suspect this is the case, try searching for the file name on the website. Many websites have a built-in search function that can help you locate the content you need. Many websites have a search bar you can use to find specific content. This tool is incredibly useful for navigating large sites with extensive content libraries. If that doesn't work, you can also try using a search engine like Google and including the website's name in your search. This method can often yield better results, especially if the website's internal search function is limited or not very effective. Another useful tip is to bookmark important pages this way, you can easily return to them without having to search again. Organising your bookmarks into folders can also help you keep track of different topics or projects. Additionally, consider keeping a list of important URLs in a note-taking app or document. This can serve as a backup in case you lose access to your bookmarks or if the website changes its structure again. If all else fails, don't hesitate to contact the website's customer support. They can often provide direct links to the content you're looking for or guide you through the new layout. By using these strategies, you can navigate through digital changes more effectively and find the information you need without too much hassle. Remember, a wrong turn doesn't mean you're lost forever. It just means you need to find a new path. Section 6. Permission to panic? Denied. Before you throw your computer out the window, remember that there's often a simple explanation for these error messages. Maybe the website is down for maintenance. It happens. It's like when your favourite store is closed for renovations. Annoying, but temporary. Try visiting the website later or checking their social media for updates. If the problem persists, you can always contact the website owner or administrator. They might be able to help you track down the missing file. Section 7. The Tech Support Hotline. A friend in need. Feeling overwhelmed? Don't be afraid to call for backup. If you've tried everything, and you're still seeing that pesky no content file found message, it might be time to enlist the help of a tech-savvy friend or family member. Sometimes, a fresh pair of eyes can spot the problem right away. Plus, it's always more fun to troubleshoot with a friend. You can even make it a game. Whoever figures out the solution first gets a prize. I recommend cookies. Section 8. Eureka! The joy of finding the missing link. There's nothing quite as satisfying as finally figuring out a tech issue. It's like a light bulb going off in your head. It's like solving a puzzle. Each piece you put together brings you closer to the solution. When you finally track down that missing file or fix that stubborn bug, it's a moment of triumph. You outsmarted the machine. It's a victory that feels personal and deeply rewarding. You conquered the digital world. It's like climbing a mountain and reaching the peak. Go ahead, do a little victory dance. You earned it. Celebrate your success, no matter how small it may seem. And hey, even if you couldn't solve it yourself, there's no shame in asking for help. At least you learned something new along the way. Every attempt, every failure, is a step towards mastery. Every tech challenge is an opportunity to expand your digital knowledge and skills. It's a chance to grow and improve. And with each challenge you overcome, you become a more confident computer user. So keep pushing, keep learning, and keep celebrating those victories. 
Section 9, Level Up, Conquering the Digital Frontier. So, the next time you encounter a no content file found message, don't panic. Remember, it's just a little tech hiccup and you've got the skills to solve it. With a little patience, a dash of detective work, and maybe a few cookies for your tech support buddy, you'll be back to watching those adorable puppy videos in no time. Happy